Hello, what is up guys and today we are going to be going over HTML tags and just a bunch of commonly used HTML tags and how to code basic HTML. It's Trust me, it's simple guys, like this is easy. Um, so oh, that was the wrong thing to open. This is what I meant to open. So as you can see, do not let this overwhelm you if you've never coded before. It is really, it is quite simple and I will explain. Um, I will explain everything on here or almost everything at least um, when I discuss HTML tags. But before that, I would like to state one thing. In the previous video, I didn't mention this language attribute. With this language attribute, it's not crucial, but you should do it. It's good practice too. Um, on your on your first HTML tag, you should put lang and then you should put equals the language that you're going to be typing the web page in. Uh, in this case, it is the uh, English language. Um, uh, usually it's just the first two letters of the language. So if I was typing this in French, I would just do, I would use the letters FR to uh, denote French. Anyways, this is English. So we're going to be using um, EN to denote English. Anyways, so now we're going to begin with the tag. So let's first see what this web page looks like. So I'll open up the live server. Uh, control Alt. L. Oh, wait, I first have to close it. Now I have to open it. Control Alt L to open. Control Alt Q to close. So as you can see over here, this is a, a little website that's being coded. The reason why um, these have this website has colors and things like that is because we have a cascading style sheet um, file, uh, or CSS for short, that, um, that works to style these HTML elements. And we will get into this in later videos. But for now, we're focusing on just the HTML tag. And so the first commonly used tag that you're going to see is this tag, is the d d d div tag. Div stands for division, and it's basically um, a, a tag that you can use to group content. So for example, this navigation bar over here, if we inspect element and we press on it, we can see that this is defined by a division, and this division groups all of this nav bar content. Right, you will class nav, so on, so forth. Next item is this UL. UL stands for unordered list, and these are list items in the unordered list, which are the the li elements. You will commonly use this in website development, especially for navigation bars. Um, so as you can see, each one of these. Um, items on the navigation bar is a list item and then this entire bar is the um, unordered list and then from here we have um, we should have a picture but it's not loading correctly um, oh because we don't have an images file that's why so anyway now I'll discuss this image tag image tags are uses by images obviously the source tag is where you link to the particular image which you want to use so if you want to use a an image on Google you would post the link to the image on Google if you have the image downloaded you would um, put the image on the down on your um, on your thing and then you would navigate to it like this but we don't have the image downloaded which is why this doesn't work this is the alt attribute which is very useful um, if someone cannot read uh, sorry if someone is blind and reading your website um, the computer will read off this to that person so it's um, more user friendly if you have this alt keyword and lastly um, I'm not going to go into classes yet we'll do that uh, another day uh, another important thing that I want to actually bring up which I should have brought up earlier is this so these are anchor tags these are anchor tags and they can be used to link to things. So in this case, we have a contact and we have an anchor tag inside the list item. So if we, pre if we go to contact, we can see our cursor changes and everything, but it doesn't actually link to anything because it just leaves as this hashtag over here. However, let's say we wanted this contact to link to our website, so BME FBLA. I'll copy the link and I will go over here, paste the link. Control S, and now if I press contact, I go to BME FBLA. So that's what an anchor tag is used for. Uh, let's just put it back with the hashtag. Another thing is you anchor tags do not have to be the innermost element, meaning that they can wrap the rest of the tags. 
So these tags are also referred to as elements, by the way. So meaning I could put my anchor tag over here, a href, so this is the link, href equals, and then I'll type out uh, a website's name, and then I go over this entire unordered list. So I indent this, I do this, um, and I go to this slash anchor, that's done. Now if I press on this unordered list, so this is the list, by the way, which I was referring to, just to show you guys that, I'll inspect element pressing this, I'll go to the list and you can see that I have wrapped it with this anchor tag. So if I press on this list, if I press here, it will link to our website, BME FBLA. So that's definite, so that's, uh, that's good to know. Uh, you can use anchor tags around all kinds of things, around buttons as well and things like that. We can see the, the, um, the division tag being used again over here to describe the class card. So these are cards and they're wrapped in divisions. So this is the div card. This is also a division card. And another uh, commonly used one is the P tag. So this um, is just a text distance for paragraph and you just put text in this tag that you want to write. So let's go to this P tag. I'm an aspiring web designer. So where does it say that? This is the P tag that we're referring to. And if, so if we wanted to change this text, we would simply just have to change the text in the P tag. So I'm and let's just delete aspiring. I'm, I'm a web designer. And then bang, I'm a web designer. Uh, so these are some basic tags, and obviously you would want to go over more um, HTML elements and tags, and I recommend that you do go over more HTML elements and tags. And a really good way to do this is by using um, HTML references. So there's this site called Mozilla Developer Network. So Mozilla Developer Network, and then you just go to HTML reference. Just type this into Google Chrome, and you should get this HTML reference up top. Then you have this HTML element reference, attribute reference, and all of these different references. So if we go to this HTML element reference, we can see all of the HTML elements with a short description on the side. So let's say that we want to find out about the division element, div. So we type in div, we get this element. And we can see a basic description is the generic container for flow content. It has no effect on the content or layout until styled using CSS. So we get this, beware of the leopard. And if we wanted to change this, we could do beware of the white leopard, and it would also allow us to change it over here. So it's a good way to practice coding as well. Um, and again, um, I told you, as I've mentioned earlier, our videos are, which I'm trying to keep these videos brief, as this is more about website design than development, but I have to explain development before we can break into design. Uh, so make sure to do some more viewing and things like that. And any questions, keep in the comments. I will try to respond to these. I hope that you found this video helpful. Um, yep, thank you for watching and goodbye.